Good morning, everybody. It's Midnight and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we made it through the Great Tree in its entirety. We found the Crystal Star of the area, but unfortunately got taken away by Lord Crump, or Lord Dump is more like to call him, because he's a dump and bump and rump. And yeah, I am a time wizard. I was able to successfully continue on with this episode or end the episode off last episode and continue again with this episode without having the timer run out. See, we've survived time, space, and everything like that, so we have nothing to worry about. I am the ultimate time wizard and I can survive any predicament. Mwah! Is the ultimate surprise or something like that. And yet, you think with all this power of time manipulation and whatnot, the fact that I could stop time and make it so I don't, I could wait 24 hours and have the 300 second timer still continue on, it would give me the ability to learn how to speak in that time. But for some reason, it has not given me the ability to speak. I'm still a bumbling buffoon. Oh well, I guess I can't have everything, I suppose. But I guess we should stop dawdling on because Mario's all asleep and stuff. It seems that just the presence of rushing water and all the nice little uh, doodads along the way makes it a very pleasing and calming environment for any situation, even if there is a detonator about to go off, so I suppose we should go ahead and end this. All right, I passed by the 69 on the timer, I didn't even acknowledge it, I'm really out of it, this is just a really weird day for me. Oh well, whatever, let's just go ahead and, and continue onward. You won't be going any further this way. What? Are you nuts? Movie old Giza. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you get through. I'm ready. Elder power, activate! <sighs> Whoa, what's with the problem, Grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your braid or what? My god, ear hair's the singing war. Just, uh, I don't even wanna talk about that. Uh, uh, what the? Ouch, can't take another step. Uh, uh, Urk. What the time for my stupid back to start acting up? You hot headed old coot. How dare you defy me? I could shine my boots with you. Ahem. You'll do no such thing. Because we just killed us all. It was the ultimate plan? I took him down with me? <laughs> I was sort of hoping for like last second he would turn the thing off right when the dialogue was over, but I wasn't able to time it right. Oh well. I guess it's still funny to just have that happen. Uh, I like how he just turned around and then he's like, he'll do no such thing, and then he turns around and then the detonator goes off. Not really sure how he thought this thing through, but whatever. We just go back around. Can you hear the dialogue? Again, but I do like watching uh, the Elder get all angry and mega and all that jazz and then Lord Chrome just gets smaller and smaller. It looks really funny. It's really funny. And then her back hurts. She's like, like, wah, wah. She's all sad and tired. You no know such thing. Now he turns around and is like, oh snap, you're here. Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and promptly exiting this tree. Buh, buh, buh. <laughs> You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I better shut off this timer. Any day now. Eventually. You know, you could just wait for the timer to run out, and then like, at the last second, just run out of the tree, and then it'll be good to go. You got the crystal star, you escape, you kill all of us. That'd be the smart thing to do, but I don't even care about the gag, just go and do it. Knowing me, I'd probably time it wrong. Okay, you pass one pummeling, coming up with extra fists. Metal fist, that is. It's a Pokeball! Lord Crump, I choose you! Awake, Magnus Von Grapple! Time for a technological thrashing! Enjoy! It's Tissue Man, my all-time favorite superhero besides Cauliflower Boy. This is the boss of chapter two. Are you crying yet? Yeah, sorry, but this is thing isn't on with tissues, even though it looks like a tissue box. Well, Magnus Von Grapple has the effect on people. Total weep and terror. And yet you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Mercy me. That metal colossus is incredible. And yet there's something rather odd about it. Let's keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. Not sure what she means by that, but whatever. Can't flee this fight, of course, because it's the boss of chapter. 
of chapter two. And I like how the audience is split up between half punies, half x knots. It's very funny and uh, another little minor detail that they didn't need to do, but they did and it's appreciated. Uh, so, the boss of chapter two is just called Magnus. His friends call him M Money or something like that. So, just M Money. That's Magnus von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the x knots. Lord Crump drives it. Max HP is 30, attack is 2, and defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smothering stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do the super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have max HP of 2, and attack of 4, and defense of 0. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them out first. The thing about the robot is that I can't tell if it really looks cool or really, really stupid. It's tissue, man, and it's pink. What do you think? Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Von Punish! Thank you for hitting Gumbella, because her HP doesn't matter in this fight! So yeah, the timing on that can be very wonky, of course, with any boss fight, it's always gonna be difficult with the timing. Uh, now we're gonna switch over to Flurry, and continue on with her in this boss fight. So we can only hit the base of it, so we're gonna do that. Gotta line up the cross in the circle surrounding the X and do that damage cool uh, now he's gonna go ahead and boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. oh I super guard against that's super awesome uh, we're gonna have Mario oh would have been good to have power bounce for this fight god darn I can never remember to equip badges uh, I guess uh, nah, I want to save these for like recipe stuff because I'm actually doing that now darn me trying to be tactical in my item usage I guess I could just use my newly found ground pound uh, 4 damage is still pretty decent, but pretty much like a normal jump in that regard since it just does 4 damage And that's our regular jump damage now damage 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 damage. How many times can I say damage? He's coming over again all slow like ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, Didn't get the super guard that time. Oh, well, sorry. He's all flattened now. She's back in action uh, Could use the power smash you could hit him on the bottom. No problem about that. And it only does three damage, so I guess it's not that smart to do that. Okay. And that fall down. Cool. I was like, that fall down. Warrior need food badly. Aim for this. And we're making quick work of him. Sort of. Kind of. Not really quick work, but we're working on it. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out this. What else this guy could do? You're gonna love it. This might not work out too well for you. Rocket powered fist. Alright, so his rocket power fists are out, and like Umbella said, they are going to do a lot of damage, so this would be a good opportunity to use the multi-bounce. Double damage! Cool! Not really necessary for the fist, but it'll be good for Lord Crump. Get that double damage in, and stomp away. And I didn't get the time in the last one quite yet, but I was able to hit all three of them, which is still very good. And let's see if we can land the hit on him, as if it's ever a challenge, really. It's mainly if you're just impatient, then you won't really do it. And he stomps down and causes an earthquake. Not sure how to dodge that, but whatever. Uh, we'll go and use a spin jump once again. No real reason why we shouldn't use it. And we will have Flurry use the body slam. He's down to less than 10 HP. The very easy fight, of course. Doesn't have any secret weaknesses like a uh, hook tail, but he doesn't need them because he's a chump. Lord Chump is more like it. Oh, he's got his rocket powered fist back. So scary. And he shoots them out right away. Uh, I'm gonna have Flurry attack first. No, she only does one damage to him, so I was gonna have Mario finish off with Earth Tremor, but we're not quite there yet. Jump on you, and you, and you. And we're gonna not use items. We're going to Body Slam this fool. Very easy if you just got the formula taken care of. With the right badges, the right strategy, nothing can stand in your way. Gurg, erg, not good, can't last. Now, what's his final attack gonna be? Just another stomping attack? And I didn't super guard it, but who needs a super guard? I don't need that. We're just gonna go ahead and body slam him once more. And we'll finish off in a grand, amazing way with an Earth Tremor. Using the previous Crystal Star ability when getting the new Crystal Star. And it's all good too because now I'm dizzy and I might miss. I think it actually makes it confused, not just dizzy. So there's actually a chance that I could hurt Flurry or use an item or something that I don't want to do, which is kind of unfortunate. But I'm not gonna give the game a chance to mess me up, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use Earth Tremor.
Oh, come on, of course I sing and mess it up. Ugh, can't have a dramatic end to a fight, and I don't know why the... It was sort of weird seeing, like, just the trees removed, so I never saw that blue background force. It's sort of weirded out by it, actually. Uh, can I finish off with a super guard? That would have been amazing. Unfortunately not. How lame. Fine, we'll just let Flurry have the final attack because she's our new party member, so I feel better if she finishes this fight. Blee hog! This could be the end! All that pause right there made me feel like we were gonna get double star points, but unfortunately not. Though we don't need it since we got the level up anyway. Six to nine! Sort of like a 69. Buh! Buh! No! Magnus Von Grapple! How could we lose? Hoof! 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 I'll remember this, losers! Lord Crumb summons us! Lord Crumb summons us! Retreat! Heads up! Run away! Wait up! You fail! A rousing success, Mario! How delightful! They're gone! This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember! Oh! Alright there, Martio! You can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree! You got a crystal star! And you learned the special move, Clock Out! End of chapter! And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The boggly woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x knots They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. Save the game progress up to this point? Uh, not quite because I forgot to make a copy and it would be very unfortunate if we lost our progress right now. So, no. Good thing I thought of that. Hopefully I don't even need to worry about that. But, transition! Mario uh, does his little blinking thing. Cause why not? It's like, I'm a Mario, I got to blink in my budget, but none of the other characters do. What? Say that again! You can't get in touch with Lord Crump! You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter, even though I've already entered, so it's kind of redundant for me to ask that. Yes, what is it? I have a report, sir. The Crystal Star in the Boggly Woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking! What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm, disturbing. This Mario character. What kind of... Speak up, Xnop. What is the status of the other Crystal Stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of the three of them. Hooktail Castle, Boggly Woods, the one we got in Rogueport. Uh oh, they already got one, it seems. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up. You, I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario, I loathe you. Oh, I loathe you too, buddy. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you? I wonder. I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Will I ever get my own spin-off series that I oh so desperately deserve? Only time will tell, I suppose. Uh, you're not really able to do anything, I think, if you go over to 
the tech door, then it opens on its own. How convenient. I think you're just supposed to just walk around until it opens, but I just so happen to walk right next to it when that happens. So that's very convenient. Speedrunning tactics! Maybe, possibly, or maybe it does just open automatically if you're just impatient like me. And you just keep on walking across here. And like, you're just a little tapping back and forth. Things like, Dee -dee 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 -dee. Can you even pause. You can't even pause with Peach. How lame. Can't jump, can't pause, can't do anything. Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. I cannot confirm if he read it, however. He may be sick of you and is not coming for you because you are annoying and stupid and smelly and Daisy is so much better. Is that so? Well, good. <laughs> so what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know about love? Let's do it. You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? Were you eavesdropping? He said before that he was eavesdropping on you before, like, examining you to make sure you were under watch and all that jazz, so... I would be more concerned about the fact that he watched you shower in the previous chapter instead of just watching you talk about a ball or whatever. I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd, when you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CBU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. That's racist. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute! What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre! I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms, or feet, or moves! Show your moves! Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. We're gonna dance with ourselves, okay? I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Yeah, like, why, should, why couldn't you create, like, a Mario hologram? I guess he doesn't know what Mario looks like, but... I guess it's better than dancing with, like, Grotus or something. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. If you don't, then you will die! Or just... We'll continue on as normal. Yeah, you don't actually have to do anything. You can just, uh... Go on with the dance. B. If you mess up, then, like, she'll shake around and stuff. It's kind of funny, but it's just for fun. I won't mess it up, I'll just go along with the rules, I'll play your game, game, X, oh, they're switching it up this time, got different buttons, yeah, well, all that button quick time events from, uh, playing, uh, the Kara game, and the Walking Dead, and all that jazz, I'm totally prepared for this, I'm a well-seasoned veteran in the art of pressing buttons under a time limit, yeah, you think you were all new and fresh with your ideas, guess again, I'm experienced and ready for anything. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun. Is this impulse, I feel, the concept known as fun? Tech, are you okay? Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. Dear Mario, please bring lots of sandwiches. I'm hungry. I'm finished, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. F is for friends who do stuff together. You're a weird computer. No, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. You is for you and me. Good night, Princess Peach. And is for anyone, anywhere, all down here in the deep blue sea. Transition! No blinking contest, go! Hey, it's Bowser! How wonderful! I'm pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser. We just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good. Then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. 
My lord, you're so super. Speaking of super, it's time for everyone's favorite retro video game, Super Bowser Brothers. Ready to roll. Yes, we have a 2D platforming segment with Bowser. It's Super Bowser Brothers. It's stinking hilarious. We got ourselves a Goomba. Oh no, we're gonna fight it. Just, wow, we got hurt by our first Goomba. It's just like my Mario World LP. Amazing. So now Bowser's all tiny and I can't reach that block up there, which is really unfortunate. So, as you saw before, we have Infinity Lives, so there's no way we could actually lose this. And thank you, there was an invisible block, otherwise I wouldn't be able to do this. Uh, and I died. Wow, I can't believe that. Uh, let me at him. We got like a bunch of different lines the Bowser could say, which is funny, but... Of course, you could use his signature fire breath to make this a bit easier on us. Just go ahead and uh, make that Goomba extra crispy. And hit that block to get ourselves a piece of meat. Yeah, Bowser powers up with the power of meat instead of... Uh, mushrooms so we just get ourselves a lot bigger we could tear up a lot of more stuff and we get one more piece of meat we are mega bowser we walk over air it's really funny destroy all the blocks and we're good just destroy that flagpole finish So Bowser's just one step ahead of us, though they said Peach was here, which is kind of awkward. Does that mean this is where the X-Not Fortress is this whole time? Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg, and... Yeek! Hide, everybody, hide! Pfft, <laughs> what a wuss. Yes, hide, chickens. I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there! Well, that was easy. Bingo, Princess Peach! Man, that was easy. Took the words right out of my mouth, Bowser. I found you, my princess! I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting! Uh, can you come back later, Bowser? She's in the middle of the no-blinking contest I mentioned earlier. No, no, none of that silent treatment! You're coming to my castle with me! Mwee! Clearly she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless! The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. Mwee! I see, I see! How refined! How elegant! Awesome! I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! Look at his face. P poster Oh my goodness me, didn't see that coming. Great, just great. Now I look like the huge mighty king of guys who talk to posters. Uh Bowser, you're always a joy to be with, but whatever. His search for Peach continues. Thankfully it was not that successful, otherwise we'd be in some deep deep doo, but whatever. We still don't know exactly where Peach is, it's not in Petalburg, that's for sure, but we'll find out eventually. Next time on Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, we are going to exit the Boggly Woods and find out where our next destination is. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.